What is going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick DOSBox tutorial on how to install the original Doom. Now this is version 1.1. I did download this version uh, from an Abandonware website. I do own the original copy of the game so I don't feel bad about downloading it. Uh, basically this is just a 7-zip file with the uh, disks into it. Uh, for whatever reason my 7-zip isn't set up right. Uh, if you open the archive and look at it, it's just a Doom folder. Uh, it's got disk images in it. So we're going to extract uh, this particular folder. We're going to actually extract it to our uh, our C drive because we're going to need to get into uh, this drive relatively easily, this folder relatively easily through DOSBox. So we're going to extract. Uh, we're actually going to go to the C drive with this. So let's click on that. Let's go to our C drive uh, and just put it right here. Just click on that. Hit OK. Uh, we're just going to copy straight to C. Now it's going to create a folder in there as well. Uh, Doom 1.1, 3.5. Uh, you can just change the name of this. It's probably a good idea to, uh, to like Doom, and then install. You're not going to want to name it Doom because when you install Doom from this folder, it's going to name it a uh, Doom in the C drive, and you have to install it to the C drive or it will not create uh, your Doom data folder. And if it doesn't have that folder, you won't have sound, you won't have any saves, you won't have anything. So if you try to install it onto like a second hard disk like your D drive, it just will not work. I've tried it. I couldn't get it to work. Uh, the only solution was to install it straight to C. It's an old game. Back then, you didn't run two hard disks. Very rarely did anyone have two. And certainly not for your gaming PC, quote unquote, back then. Uh, so, what we're presented with here, once we unzip this folder right here, and we check our Doom install folder here, is we have these disk 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, if you just try to open these, you're going to get an error. The disk image is corrupted. You actually need to open it with a program like 7-zip, or even uh, WinRAR might open this as well. So we're just going to use 7-zip, and we're going to extract here. Extract disk 1 here. We're going to right-click and extract disk 2 here. And then disk 3 here. And also disk 4 here. It's right here in this folder. So it's just all going to be right here, ready to go. Your, your disk installs, and then your actual install files here. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, all that ready to go, plus the install batch file, which is what you're going to need to install. Now we have it ready on your C drive to install. All the disks are extracted. We're going to start up DOSBox. We're going to mount our C drive as C colon slash. Now the reason that you're getting this red arrow here that says mounting C colon slash is not recommended, uh, you should use a subdirectory, is because you can accidentally delete files within your C drive if you're not careful. Like if you type in DEL and then a file name, you'll delete it. It'll be gone forever. You can't get it back. So what you need to do here is just be careful with what you're doing in the C directory, but it's the only way I was able to get uh, Doom to work. Now, there might be other ways around that, I don't know, uh, but I couldn't get it to work any other way, so I just put it straight here to the C drive, uh, because that's just the way they did it back then. So we, we have our C drive bounded, we're going to C colon, and then uh, we're going to DIR slash W to show everything in one window, and as you can see at the in the middle there, well, kind of in the middle, on the right-hand side, I'm sorry, uh, you get your Doom in, and then it's got a little... Uh, a little, I don't know what that would be, a little curly guy up there, and then the one. So what you need to do is to get into that folder, you need a CD, uh, which is choose directory, and then just type push D, and then hit tab. And it's going to go to documents, hit tab again. You'll get your doom in curly one. You can just type that in if you wanted to. Uh, hit enter, and then we go dir slash w again. Uh, and then you can see your uh, your files that are in that folder. Uh, your install.bat is what we're looking for, so you can just type install. And then it'll bring up this installation. Now you want to install it to C. If you install it to D, the sound will not work. It will not create that Doom data file. So you need to hit C. And then just enter. Just install it to the regular Doom. Now that's the reason we didn't name that folder uh, Doom. We named it Doom install because we want to make sure we can uh, use this directory here. Hit enter. And Y to create. You need to create the new folder. And it's going to do its thing. Uh, it's basically just creating it. Now this is the installation part here. Uh, where it's extracting all the files. This will take... God, it could even take up to 10 minutes on any PC, really. Uh, so basically, I'm going to let this thing go, and we will come back when this is done. All right, there we go. It takes you straight to the setup of the game. So you're going to want to use, uh, it's going to ask you for the controller type that you want to use. Uh, you got keyboard only, keyboard and mouse, keyboard and joystick. Uh, keyboard and joystick may or may not work. Um, it's probably expecting a serial joystick, not a USB joystick. Uh, there could be issues with running that even within DOSBox. Uh, so you can use keyboard only if you're a real trooper, uh, but I'm going to use keyboard and mouse. Um, basically, what you're going to do is set up your sound, your sound uh, playback device for your music. 
Um, you can probably use Gravis Ultrasound or Sound Blaster. Um, I have a uh, Realtek uh, chipset in my computer, which most people do. That's the majority of them. So just hit Sound Blaster. If it doesn't work, come back and change it. Uh, it's Sound Blaster, the port, you can use 220. Uh, you're going to go to your sound effects device, which is going to be Sound Blaster as well for me. Uh, you can use 220 as well. Interrupt request will be 7. Uh, DMA channel will be 1. So go ahead and hit 3 for the digital channels. You could probably hit 4, but I hit 3 because it's the default and it works fine. Uh, now, before you exit this and run Doom, you're going to want to get your controller set up. Go to Configuration. Uh, go to your keyboard. Now, this is, this is pretty strange. Up, down, turn left, turn right. Nobody's used to that anymore. Uh, if you are, you're a trooper. Uh, so get hit enter on the uh, forward, hit W, backward, hit S, turn left. We're actually going to get rid of that. We're not going to use that at all. The mouse will do that for us. So we're going to hit enter on that, hit escape. Hit enter on the turn right, hit escape as well. Use key, we're going to make that E. Uh, fire, we're going to hit that and you're going to put escape. We don't need that. Speed on, leave that alone because you're going to need to uh, uh, sprint through the entire game basically. Because you'll move really slow if you do not. Uh, strafe on. Uh, hit enter and get rid of that as well. Hit escape on that. Uh, strife left. A. And then you're going to hit D. Oh, left is A. D is right. And then make sure you, when you do this, you hit F10 to accept. Do not hit escape or you're going to lose it. F10. Go back to controller config. Hit mouse. Now, you don't want uh, your right button to move you forward. It'll get you killed. It really will. So uh, what you're going to do with that is you're just going to hit enter on that and make that your middle mouse button. And just try not to click that at all. And then it'll get rid of the strafe. You cannot select something in here and hit escape to get rid of it. It doesn't work in this. See, if I hit that and hit escape, it doesn't get rid of it. So you're going to need to hit F10 to save that. Fires your left button. Just don't hit middle mouse button. You'll be fine. Um, hit F10 to get rid of that. And now we are set up and ready to go. There's no video settings on here. So you're stuck with 640 by 480. So save settings and run Doom. It does its thing. You get a little funny screen here, but it will work. And there it is. There's Doom, guys. Alright guys, uh, and basically the way to start this game up after you've quit, now when you have this green border on here, hit the plus key and you should be okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to show you how to start that up and you can actually get rid of all that by hitting the plus key again. Uh, so basically what you're going to do here is, uh, you're going to hit escape and you're going to hit, uh, go all the way down here to quit game and then hit Y to quit. Now when you're in DOS like this and you're first starting up DOS box, let's get out of here, uh, let's go back to our C drive. Uh, CD period period DIR. Okay, so you start off like this. You've mounted your C drive. You're ready to go. Uh, you want to play the game. Um, and actually, let me show you that from the. You're done for the day. Uh, you want to get back on and maybe load your save from the last day you were playing. Start up your DOS box. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna load up your game again. You want to play it again. So we're gonna go back to our C drive. So we're gonna need to mount it. C slash. And then yeah, it tells you not to do it, but you need to do it. Uh, you can't, don't mount directly into the uh, C colon slash Doom directory because the Doom data file, we'll just show you real quick here. The Doom data file, <laughs> DIR slash W, let's do that. Uh, your Doom data, as you can see here, uh, it's on the, I don't see where it's at. Doom install, Doom, 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 Doom documents. Where's Doom data? Doom, there is Doom data, right underneath recycle bin there. I'm looking for it, can't find it. Uh, that Doom data file needs to be accessed. So you, you can't just mount like C colon slash Doom. You need to mount in the C drive itself because it needs to access that Doom data file and it won't have access to it if you don't mount the directory. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does or not. Uh, but anyway, basically you need to go into your Doom, CD, Doom, and then DIR, and then you've got your, full, your files in here. You have your setup EXE if you need to change your audio or your controls or anything. And then you have your Doom EXE. So just type in Doom. And then it'll just run the game and you'll be able to uh, resume uh, where you left off once it loads up. All right, guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like what you would seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.